for the serious gamer. What's up, Wiener Schnitzels? It's uh, Guns for Hire from Next Gen Tactics. This is our Search and Destroy Hardcore video series, and this is Terminal Offense. Keep in mind, this is not one continuous game. They're just clips from various games meant to show you one or two possible pathways you can take of thousands available. Alright, keep in mind, these strategies here are when you're not really playing with the full clan, because when we play with the NGT clan, we, I don't play this way, and none of the other players play this way. Uh, we typically, oddly enough, do rush. However, when you're playing with a bunch of randoms who don't care about whether or not you actually win, they just want to get kills, it's smart play to protect yourself. Set up defenses so that if you're going to make a push for A or B, your flank is protected because these guys, these guys will not protect you. I mean, there's Italy for life. He's on our NGT, but it's just him and myself. And even with just two players, you can't really trust these guys. You have to sort of make sure that you protect yourself. You have to be on the ball. You have to make sure that you've got defenses set up in the rear. Uh, like the guy at the other end there. I mean, the bombs over here, he's doing his own thing. Whether or not he's trying to flank, doubt it. He's just getting kills. And that's reality. I mean, when you play these games, when you're just joining random games, and the same thing for me. I mean, I'm in there, but for me, I don't know. I don't know if it's if I'm some sort of weird enigma. I like winning. I want the team to win. I don't care if I'm on top of the scoreboard. It all work out in the end. You'll have your good games. You'll have your bad games. But at least try and get a win. I mean, that's what this is all about. Like when when teams are playing, like in any organized sport. Yes, I said sport. This is, you know, you got MLG. They do have organizations. When you play in these sort of things, it's about the team winning. I mean, if if the, there's a player that always dominates, but the rest of the team wins, do you think that's going to fly? No. So get the win. Play smart. Set up defenses. In this case here, you know, as true to my nature, I use claymores out the wazoo, and I'm a one-man army whore. So I whore it up with the claymores. Once it's planted, you know, don't go chasing down after the other people. What happens if my uh, my buddy died there and I'm going out chasing the rabbit down the uh, rabbit hole there? And next thing you know, friggin' ninja defuses. Well, he wouldn't ninja defuse, but he'd defuse. That would piss me off. Don't be stupid when you do this game. You know, you plant the bomb, take a defensive position and defend the bomb. They want to call you campers? Call them morons for not understanding how to play the game. Plain and simple. Smart players defend. Like even on this, I find it amusing. I mean, it's every single game, and I know, you know, there's more than, probably more than 50%. 75, 80, maybe 90% of you are like, I never care if I'm super fast. I'll go running in there, blazing it up. Well, that's great. I'm, I hope you do, because then I'm going to kill you, and then one of your bomb sites are going to be open, because no one's defending it. Whereas I find it... I'm actually glad that you guys play that way because when I'm going after uh, a bomb site, there's no one there. You guys have all rushed, you've all eaten my claimers, you got some cream pie in the face, and you're sitting in the lobby watching the game going, Hell, oh, fucking camper! You don't even know what you're doing! Look at that drive by. Oh, oh that was God. a sweet one, eh? Boom, boom, boom! Let's see it again. <laughs> Does it show it? Slow mo. Oh, drive by. Bam, bam. <laughs> that was delicious. Anyway, dudes, like, please, once in a while, trust me, it, you know, it goes against all your instincts, and I know half you guys can't sit still for, like, two seconds for whatever reason. If you defend the bomb, it is so much more of a pain in the ass for people like me to get in there. Because I'm actually anticipating and hoping, and I don't have to actually hope too much, because most of you do it, that you're going to rush. And you're going to eat claymores, and you're going to whittle down, and then next thing you know, there's going to be one or two smart players left at the bomb site that have to defend against like a, a team like this where we're just gonna rush in so now what I'm doing is I'm setting up again claymores I'm checking the minimap to see where my teammates are so I know at least my back is protected because you can't protect every angle so you're gonna have to check that once in a while make sure that it's protected here we go we had some people dying great and I believe it's just Italy and myself right now that are there we go. Yeah, let, you know what? Why not come hunting instead of uh, protecting one of the bomb sites? It's a great idea. Now you ate it. Now you're pushing up daisies. It makes it easy for us to plant. Or like now, you know, it's I think it's two on one or something. 
Don't do that. One of you. Trust me, just try it. Protect on defense. Stay at the bomb. Find a good spot. I have to come to you. There's no alternative for me. Either I'm going to take a loss and I'll be damned if I'm not going to try my ass off to do it. I'm not one of these little bitches like a lot of you out there. Oh, I got two kills, man. I'm not risking it. I want my kill streak. You know, you're, you're kill streak whores. And, and it's horrible for team play. So go and at least try. But when you're on defense, defend the bomb for God's sakes. Like, if someone was in a good defensive position, like this guy probably had to change positions. I'm suspecting that he was probably at uh, B and then had to come switching over this way. So all I'm going to do is distract him. I see him there. He's not going out there and Italy's actually switching by in the rear. And hopefully I show the kill cam on this. So while I'm friggin' blasting at him constantly with the ACR, here comes my uh, partner in crime and kills him. Now he would have been in a hell of a lot better position had uh, one of his teammates actually held back too, and it would have been 2v2. So, I mean, it's time and time tested again. You know, those, I, I can promise you right now, with our strategies uh, that we're using right now and uh, soon will unveil later on, uh, I'm not sure exactly when, you'll see that when you play smart on defense, you will get a tremendous number of wins. You'll get a ton of kills. You know, it's random as to who's going to get them, uh, depending on the team and whether they're experienced or not. But you will get, you'll kill every single person on the other team, and you'll get the win. Just play smart. You know, that's it's not that it's not that really that difficult. Okay, like even think of it that way. You know yourself if you're a running gunner. But you're going to go blasting, and you know certain routes that you're going to take. Uh, yeah. you're Flip that off. around when you're on defense. Think, okay, you know what? Uh, I'm down there. Uh, or uh, on offense. Flip it around and say, you know what? This is a route I normally take, and I'm pretty okay, successful with it. it. If I put a claymore here, well, that, and someone runs and takes the same route I usually take, that's going to kill them, and then I can move through there, and it's going to be open. That's called tactical and strategic camping. That is what I play, and that is how I win. And if you Don't do the same thing... Out. You know, all you running gunners have a Both huge advantage. Okay, huge advantage. I, a, I play in the oh, beginning, okay. before I start doing I this sort of thing, I, I do the run and gun. In the very beginning, when I first start Thank playing you. a game, I do run and gun because I want to see what pathways are dangerous and which pathways get in. Once I have that established, that's when I start showing these. So when you see me camping all the right. time, in the beginning, I don't camp all the time. I rush because I have to establish those pathways. All okay. of you running gunners have a huge advantage. Take that knowledge, throw some claymores down on those pathways, get two or three kills, then go rushing in and, you know, ramble the rest of the team. I promise you that you'll get more wins and you'll get more kills. And yeah, you have to take the, uh, the, all the bashing in the lobby about you being a camper, but you're not camper, you're friggin' smart, you're, you're playing smart. And quite frankly, I would never bash you, I'd be like, frig man, that's... You're a pain in the ass. I hope I don't have to play you again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies and tactics on Modern Warfare 2, visit nextgentactics.com. Later.